Astute is a data exchange platform and we really exist to facilitate the exchange of data between financial services providers. So their problem was that they want to go and uh, take the data that comes from different customers that looks very different, even though it's representing the same type of thing. They want to uh, combine this into one data set. Now these content providers are all financial services institutions, uh, banks, insurers, uh, both short term and life. And then we also have uh, various investment houses part of the ecosystem and platform as well. This is a pretty laborious uh, task. Um, and uh, they were asking us if we could help not only streamline the actual data pipeline, um, but also um, some of the mechanisms of how to automate this to a, to a degree. We, we knew there had to be a better way to solve this problem. For years we've been thinking about how uh, to, to map this with machine learning. And Prolaxis brought in really the, the, the nuts and the bolts, the gears behind this to give us the ability to start mapping. You don't get up one morning and say, oh, I'm going to do machine learning, and, 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 and you just start doing it. It, it. It's not working like that. You have to have the right infrastructure. You have to have a mindset, a decision, analytical thinking in order to solve those kind of problems. Microsoft has invested really, really heavily in AI, and we've made some amazing strides. Um, we've achieved human parity, which means that our AI can understand on the same level as a human in object recognition, in machine reading and comprehension, as well as translation. Um, so our platform is really able to provide the tools for companies like Prelexis to build these really complex machine learning algorithms from a very intelligent base. They started putting in some technologies with uh, the capability of learning and scaling with us. And that was an important point for us because we had to prove the concept. In theory, we were there but we had to prove the concept before getting it commercially viable. And Data Factory actually allowed us to actually move a bit faster. We could explore the, the, this very complex space that we were trying to uh, solve in a much quicker manner. It's exciting, but it is quite scary because we realized that what a machine is doing um, in, in, in minutes and 24-7 uh, humans do not have the ability to do it at that scale. So one of the things that they implemented was Azure Synapse, which really actually solves this problem. It, it is an enterprise-grade analytics service on Azure that really helps to bring in lots of disparate data sets for enterprise clients and actually solve the problem of making the data accessible and usable for the users at the end. The way that we design is with regulation in mind. And this is where we worked very closely with Prolaxis to make sure that the data that's brought on, the way that the data is secured, and then how the data is shared, is all in alignment with not just local, but international data regulation. It should be a way of work. It should be something that one actually embraces and say, okay, but this is to safeguard all of us. Our next phase in moving forward, we're really looking at the analytics and hopefully moving into quite a bit of uh, AI and intelligence on top of that uh, data that we now have in the structured format and we have the ability to do um, real big data analytics uh, on those components. I think what we're seeing here is really the practical application of machine learning um, and how it can solve real world problems. I think what it's shown for Astute is that they now have identified many use cases where they can use this type of technology to accelerate insight and free up some of their data sciences to be able to focus on more complex problems. We're now we're moving into a space where an algorithm can provide you with really good advice and planning for your future. And that's an exciting space.